Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. Guys, today we're talking about the accounts being suspended, what might get your uh, account suspended and what shouldn't get your account suspended. According to me, of course, it's not official, I'm just giving you my position on the matter. Now, uh, if you want to get familiar with terms and conditions, you can find them, they are uh, pretty much uh, public. Basically, uh, this is the core sentence about uh, uh, accounts getting banned. Basically, they say that they can do it for any reason. Now, what exactly constitutes any reason? Is it, is it just any reason if you have done something wrong or if it's just any reason? For example, can they ban you for playing a lot of Baraka? Because if they mean for any, any reason, they might also say, oh, you're playing a lot of Baraka, you're going to get banned. Uh, <laughs> just joking here, but yeah, I have never actually contacted them to ask what do they mean by any reason, like any, any, or if I have done something wrong. Like, anyways, uh, with that said, the thing about this video, guys, is, uh, you know, I uh, am on Twitter and there's this guy, Mick Pack. He's a pretty cool guy and he's working, I believe, on Nether Netherlands Studios. Uh, not idea, Netherlands Studios, Warner Brothers, it doesn't matter. Point is, uh, sometimes he tweets and uh, I'm following his tweets. And basically, uh, yesterday there was some kind of a discussion, a guy was getting banned and one thing led to another. Uh, basically, uh, for example, here the guy says, I'm getting banned and Mick says, not looking good so far, uh, detected a uh, violation of terms of service. And uh, one thing led to another again. <laughs> and there was a discussion between this guy, B, I, Z, Z, and Mick. And the first guy said, can we get banned if we quit the game? And Mick says, no. In regards to this, people should not have been banned for quitting a match. There were other people that were spamming rewards and talent hacking that was getting them tossed. Definitely not quitting a match. And then B, I, Z, Z explains basically what's the nature of this glitch. You can quit the match if the boss has 20% health and then you start the another game and they will start the other game with 20% health. Uh, and Mick says, this is not intended behavior but we are also not banning because of it. We will be fixed in future updates. At the same time, there was some kind of a talking about uh, guys who are spending uh, spamming rewards. Like, you know, the, the other glitch that you can quit the game and before you quit, you just press the back button on your phone, something like this. It doesn't matter, but it seems that this is bannable, look at this, we just became aware, but I would bet that those folks will not get off with a warning. So basically he's, he's implying that probably those people are going to get banned, people who are exploiting that, exploiting that bug. Now, this leads me to the main point of the video. Uh, what is the difference between exploiting a bug that should uh, get you banned and exploiting a bug that shouldn't get you banned? In my opinion, once again, it's not official, it's just my opinion. Now, imagine that you go uh, into a supermarket and uh, you want to buy TV sets. The supermarket is for TVs. And uh, on the shelf, just right in front of you, you see five TV sets. And they are all about $5,000. But there is one on the fourth, which is extremely the same. It looks the same. Uh, like all the others, but this one goes for five dollars and you're like, oh my god This is obviously a mistake because there is nothing wrong with the TV. They just messed up the um, You know the price tag or something in the system on the leaflet everything they just messed they forgot to Or let's say the TV was 500. They just forgot one zero in the end So you just buy the TV immediately and at the reception uh, I mean the guy who's selling you the TV was like, oh my god, this TV was 5,000, not 500, and you're like, it doesn't matter, it was written 5, 500, I want to buy it for 500, right? It's your mistake, not mine, I am just seeing the deal and I buy it. In my opinion, if we apply this logic to the game, let's say that there is a bug, in uh, in my case, the bug of uh, Quest 27, I exploited that a lot, but uh, this bug was based on the regular behavior in the game. Not a lot of you remember this bug, but imagine a quest that gives you 11 souls after you refresh it fast, but the cost for refreshing was 10 souls, so you get one soul for each refresh. But that wasn't the big deal, the big deal was that you refresh it 5 or 6 times uh, and you go to 100% renown, which in 3 or 4 attempts will give you souls. So you can farm a lot of souls like this. They eventually patched this, but I don't think anybody was banned for it. And in my opinion, if somebody was banned for it, that was really, really bad, because this is the regular uh, behavior of the game. This is how the game should work. You can fast forward. It is allowed by the game. You can fast forward as many times as possible. At the same time, if you see a price tag, you buy it. It doesn't matter whether the price tag is wrong. You buy it. You have done nothing wrong. It is their mistake. They have to pay for it. The same thing with the game. You have done nothing wrong. For example, if you're using Shao Kahn to kill bosses, you have done nothing wrong. 
everybody can use Shao Kahn, right? Everybody can use special two of Shao Kahn, so this shouldn't get you banned. Now, with regards to the second thing, with uh, the pushing the back button of your Android phone, now imagine the second situation. You see five TVs, but the fourth one, there is a device. Let's say that there is a device next to the TV, and this device has the power to change the price tag, both in a database and, let's say, on the leaflet. It doesn't matter. Imagine such type of device. And somebody just forgot that. They just put the price of the TV and then forgot it. You can get this device and you can change the price tag to $500 or 5000 So can you reduce the price tag for 5000 to 500 by using this device? You can. Should you do that? No. It's the same thing like if your neighbor forgets to lock the door, should you just go in and steal everything? No. So that's the point. In the first thing, you have something uh, that is made by the person who sells the goods. And the second thing, they didn't do it, but they forgot a device. And you know that you're not supposed to use device. This device should be used by the merchant. Yet, you're choosing to use it so that you can uh, get benefits out of it. The same thing is with the game. If you're using the game in the way it is supposed to be used, that's fine. Even if the developers forgot to do that. But if you're doing something weird that is not supposed to be done. For example, you press the back button of your Android phone. Nobody uses the game like this. It's not supposed to be used like this. This might get you banned. Because once again, you're exploiting a bug. You're exploiting an imperfection in the code. This is not good. So basically, in my opinion, this is the main difference between exploiting a bug and exploiting a bug. One thing, in my opinion, shouldn't get you banned. The other thing should get you banned. So I would advise you guys, do not do the double rewards glitch from the Denian Tower because as you saw, according to Mick, this will most probably get you banned. Once again, everything that I said about uh, the different type of glitches and the examples I gave, this is just my interpretation. I might be wrong. If you want to get 100% correct answers, up-to-date answers, you have to contact Warner Brothers support. Once again, in this video, I'm just laying out my interpretation of what should get you banned and what shouldn't get you banned. I'm not saying what will get you banned and what will not get you banned. Those are the answers that you can only get from Warner Brothers. Of course, everything I said, I might be wrong, but uh, based on my observations on what uh, the game is doing lately in terms of bans, I'm inclined to believe that they are kind of thinking the same, but once again, I cannot guarantee that. It is just my interpretation all right guys i really hope you found this video useful please let me know whether you agree with me uh whether this is the correct approach or whether the game should behave like this in every single scenario and yeah basically this is it see you next time guys take care and stay safe perfect